you're just going to need some tape and some chalk. This is a three pack of the Mueller tape and this is super, super cheap to get. I got it on Fire Toys. And then this is just the Spree chalk, which is also super cheap. It's just a one pack. So I don't really use chalk for my hands, so I just exclusively bought this to retape my hoop. You're only gonna tape half of your hoop at once. You're gonna start from the middle bottom. So I'm gonna spin it upside down. That way the little tab is on the bottom, right where my feet are. You want to tape towards the direction of the tab. So you're gonna take it from the middle and go towards the tab. But you want to start a little bit further than the middle because you want it to overlap on the bottom here because that gets a lot of attention and wear. Another thing to note is that you might want to clean it with some sort of alcohol or something really drying because if you've touched your hoop a lot, especially like I'm doing right now, your oil from your fingers are going to get on the hoop. So if you clean that off, the tape is going to stick a lot better. If your oil is on there from your hands, your tape is not going to stick very well. So you're going to start a little bit further over than the middle. So if you look at where your tab is, take it up to the middle. You're going to start a little bit further over, so that way you have some of that overlap. And you're going to start at an angle. and wrap it around as cleanly as you can. And try to make your spaces even. You want to overlap the tape each time you move it around. yourself in a situation where you're not yet to the tab but your tape roll ended you're just going to overlap that a little bit too just so that doesn't come undone you wouldn't want to start like here because then you're going to have a little bit of gap in the middle and then your tape is going to come undone plus you're probably going to get some sticky stuff on your hands and that's not going to feel great <laughs> so i'm going to start a little bit over here just to be on the safe side And I find that it kind of works well if you're over taping in these areas anyway because if you think about this area on the bar, a lot of times you're grabbing up here for certain moves so I kind of like to have that extra grip there anyways. So if you wanted to get by on just two rolls of tape, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're spacing out your rolls a little bit further. However, I normally just tape it probably about three-fourths of the way up just because I do like that thicker tape so it is kind of personal preference there so I just bought those three rolls so that way I would have enough to tape to over tape a little bit Okay, and then once you get up to that tab, you're just going to cut that off. So when you start over, you can start pretty much in the middle, but if you want that extra, I would say, security and have an extra layer on the bottom, I would tape a little bit further out. So I'm going to start over here. That way this bottom area is just extra covered where you're inverting constantly and your hands are always, pretty much always, pulling up on. This is usually the first area to go on your hoops, so. We are going to get our third and final 
final tape roll. Start again, overlapping a little bit. Once again, we have reached the tab, so I like to get it as close as possible. And then we still have some tape, so if I ever need to retape a particular area, I can. Thank you.